What's up? <laughs> it's me. It's me. It's your old mate, Jacob. We're in a little bit of a, a different, uh, well, a different setting here, I guess. Um, I'm sitting at my computer desk. And I'd love nothing more than to, once and for all, open up, well and truly, about the amount of money that YouTube pays me, or that YouTube did pay me through the year of 2020. It's an interesting topic. It's a topic that gets a lot of attention, you know, for obvious reasons. There's not many YouTubers out there that are comfortable or fully comfortable. They might say they are, but they're not fully comfortable about talking about how much money they earn from YouTube. Now, whether that's a tax evasion, I'm not going to lie, or whether it's just, you know, values, morals, whatever they're comfortable with, I don't know. And I'm, I'm, you know, thinking about it, I'm not really sure why I haven't uh, made these videos. But, but this particular one has been brought on. Uh, it's been inspired by a, a guy called Matt Does Fitness. And Matt Does Fitness is a fitness YouTuber, as you can probably tell. He's one of my favorite fitness YouTubers. And he's been the only, one of the only ones that I really firmly believe has stayed true to himself this whole entire time. So his channel has gone from, uh, you know, a few thousand subscribers to a hundred thousand to a million and honestly i think he's over two million subscribers now but the only reason why is because of his work ethic he has a similar work ethic to his youtube channel as i do it's just that his audience is a lot bigger his production value is a lot higher and lo and behold in the year 2020 he earned a fuck load more money than me but he did and i respect the hell out of this show his youtube audience with no blurred images, okay, everything that I see on my YouTube studio, he showed to his YouTube channel. I respected that. I enjoyed the video. I'm here to do the exact same thing, and that is what we will do. So what I'm going to tell you right now is that YouTube was my full-time income for the very first time throughout the whole of 2020. So I decided to go all in all in on YouTube for, th for the 12 months, which is, you know, I've pretty much gone all in for the last three years before that. But officially, I did not have that full-time income to fall back on. You know what I mean? So YouTube wasn't anymore just a side gig. Um, I had no choice but to back myself, but to say, right, well, if I wake up and I don't have to go to a normal job, what else am I going to do? I'm going to put as much effort as I can, because burnout is a real, real thing on this YouTube, this YouTube platform. Okay, if you've been following YouTubers that do talk about their personal lives, who are comfortable enough talking about their personal lives, you will have heard or seen some burnout. I've experienced it. We've all experienced it, whether we've got a YouTube channel or not. There are so many more factors with YouTube coming in at you. You know what I mean? You've got, you've got the analytics, but you've got the criticism. You've got the <laughs> the you've got both the criticism and the congratulations you've got yeah bad and good comments you've got a lot of work a lot of back-end like data entry type of work but that's the work that i enjoy it's the hustle it's the grind it's 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 putting in putting in the hours which i don't i don't actually have the ability to do anymore one thing i will say guys before i get into this money this money situation for 2020 and the last thing i will say is that when I've sat down for, for editing sessions recently, in recent months, to get these top 100 videos out, my staying power is not what it used to be. I don't know where or why that is, where that's come from or why that is, but I just can't do it. I can sit down for three hours. I might even be able to sit down for four hours and do editing, but I certainly cannot sit there for 10 or 12 hours straight like I used to a short two years ago. I mean, could I? Yes. <laughs> when you're editing yourself, okay, uh, you're looking at yourself, you're listening to yourself constantly for 12 hours in a day, that'll send anyone nuts. And it certainly sent me nuts a few days there. But I'm glad to say that I know my limits and I will stick to them because I can't afford to burn out and I don't want to burn out and I don't have to burn out because I've done it before. I know the warning signs and that is all I will say on that matter. Now, what you've all come here for is to look at my analytics officially my back end the back end of my youtube channel where all of the data entry all of the analytics all of all of my you know 
well, all of my stats, all of my YouTube channel stats. You guys know how much I love stats. Here are the stats, all right? Here are the fucking stats. I'm going to go 2020. I am going to bring up a screen capture. Okay, and I'm going to put it up here because I'm going to I'm going to cut off the top of the screen because it's a bit it's a bit ugly. I'm going to come over this way and keep talking. So, my friends, this is it. If you'd ever wondered what a YouTube Studio dashboard looks like, specifically the channel analytics page, this is it. This was my channel in 2020. Am I going to show you 2019? No. Am I going to show you 2018? No. But what I am going to show you from 2018 in the next video is my most successful day on YouTube ever. Okay? My most successful day on YouTube ever. Now, to put that in, into perspective, that is around the time that it exploded. I'll show you exactly what happened. But to put it into perspective, I probably averaged, you know, I'm going to say I averaged maybe 25,000 25, views per day throughout the year of 2020. 25,000 views per day. A total of 6.3 million. You know, there's, a, there's an outlier here of... Uh, There's an outlier of uh, 80,000 views on Saturday, January the 18th of 2020. I'm not exactly sure what that was from. Most likely a DK Metcalf for Patrick Mahomes video. But apart from that, you know, I was averaging around about 20 to 25,000 views per day. Now, to put that into perspective, on a single day back in June of 2018, I received over 500 thousand views in a single 24 hour period now what that did was explode my channel that day that marshall and lynch video combined with all the other videos that i'd made previous which i will talk about because i kind of set myself up for that i'd kind of I, I did set myself up for that day and, and and for someone to find that video and for me not to have any other reaction videos on the channel it would have been a completely lost opportunity. But I knew that one of those videos was going to go well eventually. Just one. That's all we need. And it did. And at that time, I probably had about 20 other reaction videos in the library. So they found that one. They went to the next one. They went to the next one. And so within that month of, of 2018, 2018, I think I honestly got maybe 6 million views. I really do think that in that month, I equaled the amount of views that I got throughout the whole of 2020. So YouTube's like that, man. YouTube's like that. It's, it's, it's not predictable. But you can put yourself in positions to make the most of an influx of viewers and subscribers if that does happen to happen to you and your channel. And that's what happened to me. But we're talking about 2020. So, guys, you can see it on the screen. There it is in all its glory. I made, in my first ever year of going full-time on YouTube, $15,180.10 from 6.3 million views. Now, if we do click... On the money tab, we can see that on average, I'm gonna say, look, there's, there's, look, this is times I put out, I put out at least one, if not two, videos every single day throughout 2020. Yet, you know, at times I was making, I'd be lucky to make twenty dollars a day. Um, throughout April, I'd be lucky to make thirty dollars a day. Throughout May, I'd be lucky to make forty dollars a day, and throughout July, you know. $50 a day and throughout September $80 a day and you know it goes up and down goes up and down depends on what type of content you're going to post but throughout that middle period of the year right where I was locked down here in here in Christchurch and I've just realized something I don't actually need these headphones <laughs> not at all Jesus that's much better um, so throughout throughout the year of 2020 I was locked down in Christchurch the whole world was locked down um I wasn't locked down, but I was in Christchurch, right? So I was making content that I was doing in my everyday life. I wasn't putting, I wasn't, I wasn't listening to YouTube. I wasn't listening to YouTube. I wasn't listening to my YouTube audience when I probably should have, but I did stick to myself. I stuck true to myself. And at the end of the day, having not sold out completely and just gone straight for the best players, straight for the biggest players, straight for the biggest hits, you know what I mean? Just to get the views in. Because at the end of the day, with me and my reaction videos, if I'm not feeling that video, if I'm if I'm not doing it for the right reasons on that particular day, it's not going to happen. So I'm so glad to say 
that yes, we only made we only made fifteen and a half fifteen thousand one hundred eighty dollars, but the content that I produced to to, to the, the content that I that I created to produce that income was my content. It was true to myself, and so I really feel like twenty twenty one. I'm in a position to continue to create the content that means the most to me, but also, also really start to look at the algorithm, really start to look at my channel, look at the videos that are the most successful, look at the ones that do pay the most. And this time next year, when I do show you how much YouTube, just how much YouTube paid me throughout the year of 2021, I want it to be, I'm going to, I'm going to make this, you know, I'm going to make this um, a goal. I've got a subscriber goal. I won't say that, but I do have a, a money goal, and this is a money goal to fund me in my life and 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 the things that I do want to achieve throughout the year of 2021. And that would be fifty thousand. That would be fifty thousand dollars, which would actually put me above the tax-free threshold. So I'd actually have to pay tax on that. This fifteen thousand, effectively, I don't. But can you imagine? The YouTubers, such as Matt Does Fitness. I mean, Matt Does Fitness put this number out there. He showed absolutely every single person on his YouTube channel that he made 400,000 US dollars last year. 400,000. Now, the first thing I think, honestly, the first thing I think is Matt. I hope you paid your taxes. I really do. <laughs> I hope you've got no enemies out there that want to, you know, ring up the IRA or whatever it's fucking called and, and, and make sure you've paid your taxes. Because, guys, there's people out there earning millions of dollars every year from, from AdSense. Can you imagine if that number was, no, not a five-figure number, not a six-figure number, but a seven-figure income number. Now, this is income from, from Google. YouTube's owned by Google. I get paid by Google officially. So, effectively, this video could probably be called how much did google pay me throughout 2020 but we're going to call it how much did youtube pay me throughout 2020 my largest day of income which is a complete outlier was 346 dollars now that is from a live stream my second largest outlier which was in late december was 249 dollars once again a live stream and my third largest outlier which was again in in december of 2020 was videos that I'm publishing, the top 100 series, at least the ones that are monetized, but also, yet again, another live stream. So moving into the future, or moving into January, what did I do? I saw that trend. I saw that we were making more money in the month of December than I ever had before that year. And the reason was, is because I put myself in an environment where I, I, I could make a shitload of content. I could get on live streams for hours on end. I could really interact with you guys. I could edit in a good mood, you know what I mean? In a nice environment, which meant that I spent a little bit more time on my editing. You know, I'm putting transitions in. Things like that. I'm doing little zoom in parts, you know what I mean? A bit of meme editing. I'm not the best at it, but I'm trying. So all I can hope is that you guys continue to enjoy my content. I hope you enjoyed this video. We made $15,180 on YouTube in 2020. And in 2021, I want to make 50k. So thank you for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.